Hello students. In this class, we will try to understand the geometrical interpretation of partial derivatives as well as we will uh, do some numericals based on partial derivatives. Okay, so first geometrical interpretation of partial derivatives let z is equal to fx y be a function of two variables x and y then del del x of z or del del x of f or fx represents the slope of the tangent to the curve with x axis which is made by cutting the surface z is equal to fx by by a plane y equal to b which is parallel to zx plane similarly <coughs> sorry <coughs> del del y of z or del del y of f or simply fx is the slope of the tangent to the curve with y axis which is made by the intersection of the surface z is equal to fx y with the plane x is equal to a which is parallel to z y plane fx at any point a b represents the slope of the tangent to the curve z is equal to fx y comma y equal to b or simply z is equal to fx b similarly uh, this fx at any point a b is thus simply ordinary derivative of fx b because now this z is a function of x only okay with respect to x for x is equal to a and it can be written just like this fx at del del x of f at a b is equal to d d x of fx b for x is equal to a a similar interpretation can be given for del del y of f at point a b okay so this is the interpretation for this del del y of f at a b is simply the ordinary derivative of f a y with respect to y for y equal to b so this f a y is a function of y only okay next is examples okay so taking the first example here if z is equal to tan inverse x square plus y square upon x plus y then find del del x of z and del del y of f. So in order to do this, okay, let us consider this uh, inside term x this x square plus y square upon x plus y is equal to u. Then this z becomes simply tan inverse u. Okay, so this del del x of z now is simply the del del x of tan inverse u because z is equal to tan inverse u and now its derivative is the derivative of tan inverse u is 1 upon 1 plus u square and del del x of u right so <coughs> this we know what is the value of u you can it can be put here and similarly del del x of u means this term x square plus y square upon x plus y and uh, this can be you know further written like this and now we can apply this quotient rule for quotient rule for derivatives that is denominator into derivative of numerator minus this numerator into derivative of denominator del del x of x plus y this is a bracket here it is upon the square of denominator that is x plus y whole square Okay. Further, <coughs> if I just took this into this side and 
okay put it in the numerator then this is for the these derivatives are solved okay by keeping by treating y as constant so i am getting these values okay further this is simplified okay this can be written one upon this part can be written x plus y whole square upon this this part okay then into this one 2 x square okay when we multiply inside 2 x y minus x square minus y square okay divided by x plus y whole square so this with this cancels we are only left with x square plus 2xy minus y square upon this one x plus y whole square plus x square plus y square whole square okay and uh, similarly we can find del del y of z okay so in this case we will treat x as a constant and we get the value like this it can be verified you can do it <coughs> now taking up the second problem that is if u is equal, uh, is equal to cos inverse x upon y then find the values of ux and uy that is the partial derivatives of u with respect to x and partial derivative of u with respect to y so this is the answer ux is equal to this and uy is equal to this okay you can verify it you you will you know find out yourself okay the next question third is z is equal to x square plus y square upon x plus y then show that del del x of z minus del del y of z whole square is equal to four times one minus del del x of z minus del del y of z it's quite simple the similar kind of work uh, we did in the previous question question number one i think okay <clears throat> so first of all you find out uh, <coughs> del del x of z and del del of y and then <coughs> now these two sides can be very easily computed then question number four if f x y equal to this means x y into x square minus y square upon x square plus y square and f x y equal to zero when x and y are zero both zero okay this is given so show that fx y at 0 0 is not equal to f y x at 0 0 <coughs> so we will apply the definition of derivative okay now fx y first of all let us try to find our left hand side fx y at 0 0 okay so according to the definition fx y is what del del x of fy del del x of fy okay so then if this h is very small increment in x okay then this this fxy is okay derivative with respect to x of fy okay so this is limit uh, h tends to 0 fy 0 plus h okay there will be only change in x values so 0 plus h comma 0 at y as it is minus f y at 0 0 divided by h now uh, in order to compute this i need to find out the value of f y h 0 as well as f y 0 0 so let us try to find this one by one now f y h 0 is what the derivative of f with respect to y so let uh, this uh, k is very small increment in y uh, then by the definition of derivative limit uh, k tends to 0 f h k minus f h 0 divided by k okay because here h is already there and 0 plus k k and then the function at, as it is okay so f h 0 divided by k now what is the value of this f h k it can be simply obtained from the definition of f x y so f x y was uh, in f x y simply put x is equal to h and y equal to k so we get this value 
this is the value of fhk similarly this is the value of fh0 divided by k sorry divided by k and this is further equal to limit k tends to 0 this is the value of this and this value is 0 because 0 is multiplied to the numerator here and divide by k and again okay hk into this this divide by k so this so k with k cancels you are left with multiplying inside with this h so h q minus h k square divided by h square plus k square limit k tends to zero <coughs> when we put k uh, tends to zero okay when we put k zero so we get h q minus h into zero square divided by h square plus zero square right so it is simply h q upon h square so when we divide h q by h square i get simply h and f y 0 0 okay so f y h 0 we obtain now f y 0 0 is equal to this in the similar way and it came out to be 0 here and uh, f 0 0 is equal to 0 it's given in the function definition of the function so therefore f y at 0 0 is equal to 0 hence f x y 0 0 is equal to limit s tends to 0 f y at 0 minus f y 0 0 divided by h is simply <coughs> this value is h this is 0 so h minus 0 minus this is 1 Similarly, we can find the value of f y x 0 0. Same way, same kind of derivation. So that comes out to be minus 1. And because the value of f x y at 0 0 is 1 and f y x at 0 0 is minus 1, and hence these two are not equal, which we have to prove. Thank you so much.